I spent almost one year learning game development with no prior experience and here is the entire progress in 6 minutes. Here I should tell you a story about how I always wanted to make games and I always love to bring stories to life, but it's not like that. I was just very bored or very drunk when I came across a random video about Unity on YouTube and I thought, hey, that could kill some time. The first time I opened up Unity I was overwhelmed. I didn't know a single thing about making games, so I went where all lost souls go, Bracky's YouTube channel. Copying some code line to line from it, I made a black square with a flashlight that can destroy these enemies when you point the light at them. And oh boy, was I hooked? No, I was like, okay, this sucks, I just rewrite stuff and there are way too many things I would need to learn if I wanted to make games, and none of this makes sense to me, so bye. After several months, my friend who is a programmer and I were playing Among Us, and we thought we should make a hide and seek standalone multiplayer game similar to it. A great choice for the first game. I worked on game assets and he did the code, but I think we weren't too invested in the project after the first day, cause we didn't really make much. You could join a lobby, get a cute animal or a killer, hide in bushes and stuff, game had some animations, but that's it. After losing interest, I gave up on the game development for the second time. In late May I was very bored or very drunk and decided I wanna start a YouTube channel. Maybe that could kill some time, but what my videos should be about? That's right, making video games. So I started working on 2D hack and slash sort of game. Again, I watched a lot of tutorials, but this time I tried to actually understand how it works and why it works the way it does. I remember going to bed and watching some guy writing code for god knows what till like 4am. I remember when I coded my first enemy behavior without following any tutorials. I was like, wow, I really learned something, didn't I? Take that teachers that said I'm not capable of learning. I chose pixel art and a simple color palette because I knew if it takes too much work I may quit again. The fact that I had a purpose to actually finish a game, which was making a video about it, helped me tremendously. Finished game had wave spawn, different enemies with their own unique animations and attacks, and the player felt pretty snappy. As the first game I rated 6 out of 10. With new confidence in my skills, I thought I should make something harder and more unique for my second game, which led me to make my worst game to this day, my voice controlled game. Using tile palette, I painted the entire level. What makes it worst? The game feels extremely unresponsive, the story is poorly thought out and insensitive, and the gameplay is just not fun, nor is it unique. My pixel art got better, the game had actual colors in it, the code though was a complete mess. Everything was entangled together, I was using singleton pattern everywhere because I thought it's so handy to reach anything from anywhere. I was wrong and now I hate singletons. As a second game, 1 out of 10. Ok, it had cool walk animation, 1.5 out of 10. I had two games running on PC and decided to try making a mobile game next. After several failed prototypes, I came up with an idea for the tower building platformer type of game. I wasn't really focused on making a lot of features or a super exciting game, I wanted to learn new things and see how those things work. And I did. I learned how inputs work on different platforms, how to implement achievements for the game, even though I would do them completely differently now, they worked at the time. I also experimented a bit with particle system and was really surprised of just how much can it do. Speaking about surprises, I learned how to put ads in your game and… wait, how much has it actually made me? Wow. As my first mobile game, 3 out of 10. Could be worse. So far I was making only 2D games and it was time to change that. I remembered playing Swords and Sandals as a kid and decided to make something similar in 3D. I had no experience with modeling so I watched some videos of this guy and got an idea how to work with Blender fairly quick. Since I am not terrible at drawing I sort of knew how most things should look in 3D. A way harder concept for me to grasp was different textures, materials and shaders and how they work together. But I learned a thing or two about them and even made some of my own. When I was making a world for the game, I didn't use Unity's terrain tool so I could keep a low poly look, which now looking back was just dumb. I had to plant each tree, rock or grass individually and it was a nightmare. It was also the first time I encountered low FPS in my game, so I did a lot of reading on how to optimize your games. Of course it doesn't mean I used the stuff I learned, but hey, at least I knew how to do it if I ever wanted to. Then I started learning about inverse kinematics and made this cool thing where NPC looks at you when you get close. I also made some 
adjustments so the player can stand firmly on the ground. I got way better at making particle systems and visual effects and of course fell in love with fast processing, especially Bloom. Everybody loves Bloom. So to summarize, I learned a lot. The finished game has a shop system, changeable equipment, pretty fun fights, an epic boss battle and a lot of other stuff. So as my first 3D game, 7 out of 10. And we move on to my last game so far. A game I made for Brachy's Game Jam. It's a short puzzle kind of game with these weird puzzles and non-Euclidean geometry. The main thing I learned here was how to work way faster, which is one of the things I struggle most with. Now I know what you are thinking, the video is called one year of learning game development, but I only took you through 10 months. Well you see that's because I can see the future. And I can tell you that next time I will make a game using Microsoft Paint. And for the game after that, I'm gonna make a League of Legends ripoff and reach Challenger in it. Make sure to subscribe so we get notified when I'll do it. To see how I made the game you are seeing right now, click a video right here. This one is 9 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.